Hello and welcome to my review of the Olight S1R Baton. This is a super compact lithium powered torch. It's the smallest lithium torch that I've had in to date to test. I've laid out all the items here so you can see what you get included. Now taking a look at the front of the packaging, you'll see you have the standard five year warranty with Olight. This has the specifications, some basic ones on the bottom. It's IPX8, you have a throw of 145 meters. On the side it shows you the included accessories you also get a wrist strap and bag for it now this lists out the power outputs so pay attention to the run times on this you'll see some quite significant differences and we have two turbo modes which is unusual for any torch that i've tried now with the power on this is supplied via a customizable cr123a battery this is the notice just to tell you to remove the battery cap. The included bag is a drawstring type, but I can understand why they've gone with this over um, a holster so you can put all the items together and it's pretty good quality. You can pull it together at the top, keep the items together. The included wrist strap is flexible too. You have a bit of stretch in that and a central adjuster too. Good quality as you'd expect from this brand. This is the magnetic clip with the USB end, there's a protector there that I've taken off. The length on this is 45 centimeters and it's a flat type cable. You'll see the magnetic attachment is pretty strong. So once it's attached there, it doesn't come off easily. You really have to give that a pull. The user instructions are well laid out. Again, we've got the specs listed out here in a bit more detail. You'll note that the runtime for average use here would probably be around about 300 lumens, is about an hour. So bear that in mind, depending on what you're using the torch for. We also get some information on the operation of the torch. Quite a simple system, which we're going to shortly on how to switch modes with this particular model. And looking at the case, we have a hardened type three type anodized aluminium. And this one has a satin finish on it. You also get a clip, which is included too. You can reverse that though. It does stick out the other end when you do on the bottom you'll see there's uh, the magnetic part here. Also, there's a ring on the outside which connects to the charging dock and there's a small hole to put the wrist strap through. Unscrewing that, you'll see the protector there for the battery. Now this cell is a special model of the CR1238, it's a RCR123A, and you can see at the top, you have an additional ring on the outside for the charging contacts on the cap that's why you'll see that. Now you can actually charge this in a normal charger as well. It worked fine when I did that too. There's a spring inside there as well to prevent battery movement. Now this has a high power drain on this particular cell for a smaller capacity. It came in slightly above the quoted capacity level. Just bear in mind, not all of the 123A cells will be able to hit the turbo mode. And we also have a TIR special lens on the front and this is said to give a wider spread and a more diffused look. I'm comparing it now to the MyCarbon MF19. This is a fairly small 18650 torch but you can see how much smaller the S1R is. It's much much smaller in every dimension. It's half the length and the diameter is also shorter. Now single press to turn on and you push and hold to cycle through the power modes. Now, if you wish to activate the turbo mode, you quickly double press and you've got selection of the two turbo modes there. A triple press will activate the strobe. To activate the lockout, you need to go into the moonlight mode, which we'll show you how to do now. So you give that a longer press. The moonlight mode will come on and you'll see the red light there, which locks out the side. Onto the waterproof test, this is IPX8 rated, so you can operate the torch underwater, there's no problems at all with that. And charging on the dock, you see it snapped into place very quickly there, and you get the red LED light up when it's charging. It's also possible to operate the torch when it's charging, that might be useful for a power bank, if you're connected to that, and you'll see the LED light in darkness here, Charging speeds were 0.76 of an amp, so quite quick, about as quick as you can get for this type of cell to charge safely. These are some 
um, single use lithium cells you can also use these with the torch I'd keep them as an emergency myself now because of the small size it works quite well for things like a backpack I have it connected here to one also things that are metal I connected this onto the fridge and because it's not very heavy I put it on a baseball cap here so it's quite a versatile little light now I had to change a battery in a car outside so I decided to put the light on the bonnet and you'll see the illumination it's giving here on the high which is quite powerful and a close-up shot there so this is really quite a useful torch for everyday use and for perhaps would-be mechanics and things like that now this is the beam shot pattern on the left is the O-light you'll see it's a much wider more evenly spread out beam than the MF19 quick test on the moonlight mode this is good enough to use within uh, arm's length I would say it's probably slightly higher than half a lumen now onto the outside test on the S1R and ramping up through the power modes even on the lower power setting I'd say it's more than good enough for general use outside and camping now we're going up into the turbo and the second turbo mode's just kicked in there now you only have a short run time on these about a minute and a half and you will feel the torch heat up a bit when you are using those modes I'll just zoom out a bit to give you a bit a bit more of an idea of the beam spread which is quite wide now we're on to the My Carbon MF19. This is rated to uh, 800 lumens, but you have to click through the strobe modes, unfortunately, on that torch to change the power levels. You can see the power levels are similar. The Olight has the edge at the turbo mode, though it can't run as long. Now we're with the Olight now at a longer distance, about 45 feet on the tree. And I'm switching over to the My Carbon. You'll see it's a more concentrated light for the MF19 but you get a wider spread with the O-Light, which we're back on to now. Closer up shot, we've just switched from the O-Light to the My Carbon. Back to the O-Light, you can see they're quite different. A big, wide spread on the O-Light at full power. It really does light up a wide area, which is what I'd expect a torch of this type to do. We're a distance of about 100 foot now, and we're cycling through the power modes on the S1R. You can see, if you pay attention to the sides, just how wide an area the torch is lighting up. Now back onto the MF19. This has a more concentrated beam, less peripheral illumination on the edges. Wrapping up with a quick summary and conclusion on the S1R. Overall, I like this torch a lot, and that was partly down to the ultra compact size. Um, that's extremely handy. This is a torch that you can fit in a pocket, a genuinely fit in a pocket without causing any bulk. You can put it into a handbag or a purse, in a glove box. You can take it with you anywhere. And that's, I think, one of the major appeals of the torch. Once you mix in the magnetic base, it becomes quite a handy torch to carry around in an emergency. Perhaps if you have to work on a car or you're in the workshop, um, if you need a torch anywhere and you need to carry something which isn't going to get in the way, this is the torch for you, I think. I also like the output levels. You have a very high level, albeit for a short period of time. And the finish and fit is as expected for the price. It's a premium torch and it lives up to that in every respect. The disadvantages for me would be the smaller cell does mean you're going to have reduced run times at the higher power levels saying that at the more modest ones the medium and low levels which are quite good enough for normal use you'll find you get a fairly good run time out of them and the charge times are fairly quick certainly one of the most interesting torches i've looked at to date